So, what's up? Look, I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I posted that on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Oh yeah, I'm super grateful to have a chance to come back. I wonder who else is here. Brandis, welcome back. Your artist was Mystical Mike. Yes, Mystical Mike. I could be on the top with my superior knowledge in biology. Would you be interested in doing a G clef with the muscular tissue exposed in the negative space? That's actually really, really cool. I was pissed. The healing process was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt. Oh, wow. He used a liner needle instead of actually using a shading needle for well, pretty he, much the whole tattoo. He only had one. It looks like somebody stole your liner. I only had one machine to work with. That's insane. Once it finally seemed like it was fully healed, it was blotchy, color was gone. Oh, it really? It was just garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> That's never a good If you ever came across Mystical Mike again, would you confront him? If I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I probably would punch him in the face. Yeah, my work cut out for me. We don't want our canvases unhappy. So we have an artist standing by in the shop that's willing to work with you. Idea's all yours. She doesn't know Mike's here? You get to look at the design, and if you don't like it, you can walk. I'd love a second chance. We'll head into the shop and meet him. How far can I push the limits? Who will get me to my limit? I'm feeling very nervous right now, but... I'm glad that Ink Masters actually give me another tattoo after having to deal with Mystical Mike. Oh, no way. Hola. How's it going? Uh, <laughs> Do you know how bad I want to punch you in the face right now? Mm, what'd you get? Get yourself an add-on over there? Obviously, Got you're the it. one that commented on my Instagram post saying that it was terrible. It's apocryphal that you should let your body be adorned by someone else without consulting me first. It's disrespectful. It's I disrespectful? Understand your body completely. I understand it's yeah, your body exactly. completely. Yeah, exactly. It's my body, which means I can do whatever the hell I want with it. That's totally true. You destroyed my arm. It was blotchy. It was scarred. It didn't even heal after a month. Are you freaking kidding you me? You should be more patient when it comes to the creation process of art. Patient? Absolutely. I had to get everything worked over. That's hurtful to me. Like, where's the honesty that we had for you to be like, hey, I'd like to do some extra Do you think we could do some I more stuff? I asked you, and you ignored me. I didn't I get the message. I messaged you multiple times. I didn't times. get the message. You I, messaged I wish me I did. back. Guys, Dave, <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going so great. It's OK. It's OK. It's OK. I know this is hard for you. Okay, listen, I do have another solution. There's another artist here who's willing to work with Mike, tag team style, to make sure that you get the tattoo that you want. And you can still say no. I can't do it with him alone. He'd have to be crazy to think I'd even let him touch me again. All right, buddy, come on in. Oh, oh this guy. <laughs> Jimmy Litwak, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Much better. Much, Much better? better. <laughs> uh. So Jimmy has agreed to work with Mike together to give you the tattoo that you want. I promise you I will do everything in my power to make sure you walk out of here extremely happy. I trust you, just not you yet. But... It's cool. I respect that. I don't need any help. I'm obviously one of the best artists in the world. Are we all good? I think we're good. All right, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Tag teaming a tattoo with Mike isn't the worst thing I could ever think of but it definitely ranks right up there. I want something to commemorate my wedding. The theme of it was lovebirds, and my favorite flower is a stargazer lily. Kind of thinking of something like, you know, base the flowers mm -hmm. on the bottom, then maybe the birds behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jimmy in there, but I'd like to get a little bit of me in there. Like something like this, I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing. The detail may not be appreciated visually in the totality of the piece. You're talking English, man, but I don't Sorry. understand what you're I, saying. Like, if you're coming into it with doubt, that's not going to give her any confidence. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of doubt from her, and too, it's hard to build myself you, up. You, from you it, but... should feel doubt from her. <laughs> this is your redemption. It's all I'm trying to do is make up for my past mistakes right now. Please, just give me that chance. I'm, I'm trying I, to. I, I apologize for not having a better vocabulary or a system of tools to better communicate with you right now. 
been waiting a long time for this moment. It gives me a chance to prove myself from all the inconsistencies and irrational behavior that I had, and just maybe there's a chance for me to redeem myself. What's going on, gentlemen? All right, let's take a look at this design. Mike, do you want to present this to Brandis? OK, yes, I do. There are the two uh, lovebirds to represent your marriage. And that floating bow on top? That would be the tying of the knot. Wow, it's definitely more than what I was expecting. Kind of a backhanded compliment. Didn't <laughs> expect anything that great, but then again, she likes it. Jimmy, you have something you'd like I to present? I do. Would you care to see what Jimmy came up with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two similar takes on the same idea, yeah. totally different schools. Do you have a favorite? My honest gut feeling is Jimmy's. You can see how that looks like a complete circle versus floating. Do you want to get this tattoo? Not if Mike does the whole thing. Well, this is a tag team design, so Mike will be tattooing you. But you also have Jimmy present and tattooing as well, half and half. I'm willing to give Mike a chance if Mike goes first and Jimmy follows up and finishes up. I'm very grateful that you're going to give me an opportunity. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Good luck. I'm going to make sure it is the best tattoo experience of her life. I'm going to make her eat all those negative words she said about me. Why did you line those leaves? You didn't want a lot of leaves. Is it in the color? Mm, no, it's not. Some of art's biggest mistakes could be some of life's greatest accomplishments. This girl doesn't want to hear the word mistake in her new tattoo. You feel the uh, there's a difference between me and Jimmy Styles? You were just going really slow. That doesn't mean go faster if you're not comfortable going faster. But... Oh, no, I am. I was making sure it was more and more on, on your level of comfort. So it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a selfish prick, but. I don't know. For a tattoo artist, I feel like you can't be selfish. Oh, no, we are very selfish. What? Tattoo artist back home that I've been working with is not in the least bit selfish. Well, that's why I'm on Ink Master, and he's where the he is. Stop for a second. Can we just stop for a second? He's stressing me out. I, I really can't have you here anymore. Mike, his biggest problem is he can't communicate. He's combative. If he's learning anything today, I'm hoping he learns how to communicate. We're creating an experiment of beautiful energy and chaos on your arm. And this it's, is it's, not beautiful energy. This is it, negative. It, I gave you a chance, and then you made a mistake because you didn't follow directions. I'm passionate, and I love what I do. And it's becoming now more insulting to me to sit here and try to convince you otherwise. You and always it's, have something to say. Because I have something valuable, and it's worth it's saying. It's not valuable. no one has the balls to say it. That's why I say it. People need to hear it. Walk away and just be gone. <clears throat> yeah, better keep walking. Unbelievable, man. She's not letting me finish my piece, and now I have to come here and redeem myself because she has no respect for me? Oh. You really wouldn't be open for him to doing anything left on this? It's still my arm, you know. What if I left something that's not a Everyone maybe deserves a second chance. Here's your third one. Don't up. Just hold on one sec. I've been thinking. If you would be willing to finish the tattoo and do the sky, then I would be willing to let you do it. This way, we can each have our closure. It's very, it's very generous of you. Finally, you let me come in to finish you off in the last 15 minutes. If it lets her sleep at night by letting me do the sky, I hope she does. All righty, we're all done. We'll take a look. Yep. It's nice to not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Wow. Are you happy with the outcome? Very happy. I love my tattoo. I love everything about it. Let's go, Mike. I definitely don't want to ever see you again, but Jimmy, I would love to get tattooed from you again. The most important thing is that you you love your tattoo. That's all I cared about coming back here for. I'm just happy that Brandis is happy and I don't ever have to see her again. I don't need redemption. I'm a great tattoo artist. Thanks, Jimmy, very much. All in all, when I look at this tattoo, I'm happy with it. But there is no way that I would work anything artistically with Mike again. Another happy customer, finally. Brandis redeemed. What do you think about that, huh? 
Didn't see that coming. Ink Master helped build my name. So now I have a reputation to maintain. If there's a client that didn't like something that I did, I have to make it right. Can't leave people just out of sorts. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What did your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Oh, well, he you know, does. Exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover-up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know, like, how open he is to hearing, like, that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it, or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more on there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man. I got to show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm, like, torn, because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover-up of a cover-up. Okay. If there was nothing there, what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to come. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers. I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous, though. No, yeah, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm gonna earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm gonna do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm gonna do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you, and are you nervous? How do you feel I am. about I'm this? I am, I'm still a little nervous, because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say, it can only go up from here. Yeah. But I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready, yeah. All right, buddy, let's take a look at this. This the rough colors. I didn't sit down and Sharpie paint everything in, but. Wow. Tell me how this is going to cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green is going to be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. 
but a lot of your work that I've seen can be like, not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All right, yeah. All right, good luck, Thank Steph. you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's gonna cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't like make it fit. Like no, make sure it actually does fit. I can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know, I just don't wanna have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But like, I'm also second guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah, nah, nah. I mean, I'm gonna look at it. Of course. Okay. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. Okay. So, okay, so wait. This here, this is just gonna be the shape of the shading? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Trust me. Very nice, okay. We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now. All right. Hop up. Take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. Oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! It's a oh, yay! It's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, yeah. well done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, guys, take care. Oh, I'm nervous. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back. So, your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Yeah, or? no, I don't think that's going to work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow, too. This isn't going to win this challenge. I want to walk out of here with something that, you know, I'm going to want to show off to everybody. I want to you with my designs. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I got to make sure this is something I want. <laughs> what happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his 100 grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised, and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven 100 times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother This is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. 
You want to be a dick? I'm sorry. Did you apologize for causing me a hundred thousand dollar loss? First off, I'm a bitch. loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my hundred thousand dollars with you, what there was I no way I was going to do a tattoo. The one. When you know they judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it! That was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. You me. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you. You. I compromised with you, and you still you gave me compromised. You hey, expected you fifty thousand dollars so that you could get a tattoo. Yeah, you. First off, get the out of my face. I ain't going nowhere. Right? This is my you shop. Kyle ain't gotta do. Shit. I'm a goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead. Go. Right. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you'll learn to swallow that pride. Suck my. Yeah. All right, my day is done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in the situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. How are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother Camilla, good to see you again. Your artist was Julia. Yes. Today, you must tattoo an animal. We got this. It's coming out great. You don't have any areas of soft, smooth gray. You don't give it that realistic look because it's incredibly dark. I know how my gray washes, and I know how it's going to lighten up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How long what have you been mean? tattooing? Five years. So you have no idea what your heel tattoo is going to look like in 10 or 12 years. I asked for an, a portrait of an elephant, okay. and I end up getting an uncircumcised dick with one ball. And you don't want that? No. <laughs> what don't you like? Right now, how it heal is just it's smoke. It has no strong lines. There's no eye. I voted my tattoo as one of the worst tattoos. You did. The placement is so off because that when you turn your forearm, like I your just have arm a big isn't ear. like this all the time, and when you turn it, there's just a big ear. It only looks right from one point of view. That's the reason why I think she should be in the bottom. She knew what she was doing. She just didn't care. You know, she just wanted to do the challenge and forget about it. You know that I have Julia here in the shop. Do you see me? It. You see me right now? This Does it look is, like I give a shit? I have to Does deal it look with. like I give a shit? Do you want to go have a chat with her? Yes. Head on into the shop. It upsets me because you think about the whole experience and you want to be proud of it, but I don't even talk about it. I just wish it never happened. Just look at it. Clearly, yeah, it, it shows It you. shows in your tattoo that you don't give a shit. It shows in your face that you're just a douchebag. Hi. So, what's up? Look. I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I posted on Instagram, I got over Did they see a like heel? Ep Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Julia, you're a fake ass bitch. You Who up are my you? Ass. Oh, the candy ass. Yeah, the candy ass. Yes, it smelled like diarrhea the whole time. Oh, God. Look for your breath you and your stink ass bull. You had no experience tattooing a dark skinned woman, now did you? Um, no. Actually, and oh, I tattoo shit. dark skinned people a... all day. Right, which is why my tattoo is. This is all this like bunch of attitude. Which is why you can you all kick overworked rocks. my skin and left sores on my rocks. ass. No one else here seems happy with the that you presented them with either. Are you happy? Absolutely not. Were you happy? No, absolutely not. This Why are you attacking all of us? What, ha what, happened what happened to that voice? What happened to that, oh my god, you know, everything's gonna yeah, be okay. Yeah, my voice is good till you come and right. with me. What happened to that? You guys, hold up, hold up. What's going on? Well, you know, get up tattoos. It's not just one of us. What, three of us here? The fact that I'm here, it's because I think you can do a good job, even though you up the job you did. I would love to And do... I walked in and you were screaming okay, well, let's, at let's... me. Even her little it's squeaky scream, voice sorry, changed like... now. She speaks normal, apparently. I get in mom mode when people piss me off and then I get the mom <laughs> voice. Guys, let's, let's stay at the issue at hand. Sorry, I don't like seeing people unhappy. But I also don't like being attacked, you know what I mean? At least give me a hello first, we'll work it out. If you confront me with attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back. I came here to make things right, so whoever wants to make it right, I'm down. Let's start over. Julia's saying she's willing to make it right. Who here is willing to work with Julia? Not after she yelled at me for no reason. So you're done? Mm-hmm. 100% done? 100% done. Good luck, guys. All right. My name is Frank McManus. I was on season three of Ink Master. I'm here to prove myself to other tattooers that think I suck just because I'm a young kid in this industry. Execution-wise, with a single needle, keeping it thin and going a little lighter would have went a long way with this tattoo. Frank, 
You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think they made the wrong call. Getting kicked off the show so quickly made me realize that I became too comfortable. So I moved from Pennsylvania to San Francisco to challenge myself to grow as a person and an artist. I want this redemption because it's a second chance to prove who I am and what I can do. I'm ready for this this time. Feels weird to be back. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to make this happen. Fred, welcome back to Ink Master. And you brought your girlfriend, Darlene. Yes. Your artist was Frank McManus. Yes. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass-looking design. What do you think about this baboon thing? You can't even read what it is. I mean, this outline is chaotic. And this is a rough one, man. The detail just does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's the tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> When he first finished the tattoo, I thought it was OK. After I got home, it just scabbed up. It was horrible. And you yourself said, why did you put the chin where his nipple is? He has a nipple growing out of the baboon's chin. That's not how they look in the wild. No, they don't. The tongue is the worst. I didn't really notice it until it was one of you guys said it. Said, the tongue looks like a nutsack. And that's what he and said. And then I looked at it, I was like, wow, it does. <laughs> that's, that's not good at all. Darlene, what do you think of the tattoo? I think that it's ugly now. Did you yeah. think it was ugly then? Well, it was vibrant when it first got done. But as it healed, it was unrecognizable. Are you going to make sure this doesn't happen again? I'm going to try. All right, Fred, I got Frank McManus in the shop. I want you and Darlene to head in there and let him know what you think. You guys okay. down for that? Yeah. All right, I'm counting on you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Head on in, guys. I'm embarrassed of this tattoo. Nobody ever once said, oh, that looks nice. I just can't wait to see this guy so I can get this off my chest. Because I can't get this off my chest. Where is he at? There he is, right there. I trusted you, man. Tell me what this looks like. Tell me what that is. Does that look like a baboon to you? Still looks Seriously. like a baboon to me. It looks like an alligator with his mouth broken open. This is supposed to be a like masterpiece? A That's masterpiece? looks like a nutsack, man. This is horrible. I'm not in my own why, 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 Frank why, with the bold violin for you? Oh, you're, my God. you're a professional, man. You gotta do your job, man. I'm stuck with this forever. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thanks. And I'd love Thanks. to make you both happy. And I know I can do that. I'll let you check out the drawing first. I'll work with you. I don't think so. What do you think? First time, shame on him. Second time, shame on you. That's what I think. I'm telling you, I can make it happen. I doubt it. I don't want you to do this again. The whole thing was a nightmare, Fred. Guys, darling, bring it in. Come here. What can we do to make you happy? Ultimately, Frank is here for redemption. Yes, 100%. We want to make you happy. Are you willing to consult with him? Let him draw something, and then if you hate it, you walk out of here. What about that? That can't harm anybody. Let's Check out your sketches. Want to do that? He's the yeah. ultimate, well, he makes the that. ultimate decision. Actually, I feel that you make the ultimate decision. Am I right? I just get nasty when it's not the decision I want. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We don't commit until the machine goes into the skin. Walk out of here any time. OK. All right, brother, good luck yeah. to you. Thank you, man. All right. I'll make you happy, I promise. We'll see. What do we want to do this time, man? I got her sign on this arm. I was thinking about getting mine a nice, gnarly Capricorn. OK. It's a goat now. Not around. Oh, right, right. Go, go. You don't want, like, anything around it or no, any... No, no, okay. no, Frank. Don't start getting creative. Flat, easy. Don't get anything really hard. Yeah. I can do hard. I can I'm do hard. I'm scared for you to do hard, Frank. I like that one. You really gonna do it, huh? Maybe. I wanna see what his drawings look like first. Then we'll decide then. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. Dude, thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> Only for the moment, friend. <laughs> you want to trust this guy? I just want to know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. You really like Frank, don't you? I don't want to kill him anymore. I think he might do good. I don't know, Frank. That's why it's called redemption. He can see if he can redeem himself. I want this one right. I can show it off. Me too. Don't make him nervous. I won't make him nervous, but I will be critical of what's going on. I really want to show people who I really am, what I can really do. But I have an uphill battle here, man. I got to make both of them happy, especially her, because he's listening to her. She's intense. She's real intense. Frank, bring it down, bud. What'd you guys talk about? Getting the Capricorn. 
symbol on my arm. Capricorn's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I want the, the astrological okay. Capricorn. The astrological one has a tail on it. All right, buddy, let's take a look at what you came up with. So yeah, it's uh, the goat body with the fish tail. Is this the astrological one? Mm-hmm, yep. I have a weird looking sign there, friend. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlene? You look skeptical. Uh, I am very skeptical at this point. That tail, that concerns me. Why does that concern you? It's a little too involved, and I'm a little concerned about his ability to detail. She wants a regular goat. Why don't you guys have a chat and talk about it before you make any decision? What do you think? The tail is a little fishy. You like the tail? It's a little mermaidy, right? Yes, it looks like a, a mermaid with a goat head. I don't like it, period. You don't like it? Yuck. If he makes changes to it, we'll see what happens. We talking about somebody who jacked you up already. You don't yeah, have I, to get it. I know, I don't have to get it. You don't want that. Guys, what is happening over there? You guys seem heated in debate. She doesn't like it. I think the tail is too much, Dave. Well, I reacted too. I was like, that is weird. But that's what they look like. I don't, you know, you can't argue with that. Can he have a twink to his liking? You can make any changes yeah. you want. The tail is a little too mermaidy. Yeah, ah, it's really standing out. The tail, I keep looking at it. I can do a new tail for you so you can see. It's ultimately whatever you want. Yeah. Big decision. It sounds like a few tweaks and you might be ready to go. This is his choice. Um... So is this a green light? Are we gonna move forward? I think I'm gonna go with it. All right, buddy. Good luck. Let's go back to the shop, man. The tail that I wanted, it only has two pieces that just goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use this, but I'll just draw in the two pieces. OK. Yeah. Let me see. It doesn't look bad without the yeah. tail. I'm serious. Yeah, it looks kind of hot without the tail. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm telling you, Fred. It seems like that tail should be like right here. So you get an idea of. Ah. I think it almost has Just to be. Just do the body, Frank. We know down you can do more. that. And yeah. And, Cause it'd be down more. And... But please don't get the tail. Don't put them under any added pressure. Just get the body. I want the tail on it. We can buy a tail. It's my arm. And if it's wrong, you're gonna be miserable. A Capricorn's a weird animal anyway. So if the tail's going, so what? I'm always right, Fred. Just don't get the tail. I'm telling you. I'm getting the tail. Get the bulk of the tattoo now, and wait. Zip it. Let me handle this for a minute. That's why I'm here, to help you handle it. Yeah, it's just, if we keep with the tail, man, it's going to be all out of balance. I'm glad you admitted it now. Don't overdo yeah. your what you can't do, right? Yeah. OK, we'll go with El Capitan over there. Thank you. And the hooves, I want them to pop. Yeah. If I wasn't here, Fred would have came home with that tail. Take a deep breath and push. <laughs> Please don't add any nuts to my Capricorn goat. No balls on the goat. But man, I'm so good at balls. <laughs> I haven't gotten a tattoo since the baboon incident. Just, oh, yeah? It kind of scarred me. I really want to make it right, you know what I mean? And really, really show everybody what's up. Why yeah. don't you uh, hop up, check that out? Nice, Frank. Yeah, you dig it? Yes, I like it. I love the detail in those horns and the fur and the scales. Love the eyes. Yes. And it's little goatee. Did a great job. Thanks for not beating me up. Capricorn. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Most importantly, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? I think that removal of the tail was better to go with. I love how the swirl is. And I love the horns and the goatee. Oh, he redeemed man. himself, man. How does that feel for you, man? It's a huge relief. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's off my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my redemption. He's super happy. She's super happy. Thank God. Take it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. I knew you could do it. Yeah. I just wasn't so sure. Right, right. <laughs> it is really weird. She might be the one thing that causes me to go home. It does. And how much there is left? So I literally just gotta do this bar right here, and then I gotta shade this it. How long do you think that'd be? Because my body's numb. Are you kidding me right now? 
Like, really? My knees are still numb. It sucks, but I need you to push yourself as far as you can. Not yet. You've been here too long. But well, there's too like much stuff to right go here. home. We have to finish it. I don't know, dude. I don't want to do it to you, but my knees are still numb. Is it from you just laying there? No. Where is it from? That's why I don't know, because, like, I can't hear out of this ear. That's why. You're saying you can't do any more. I don't think I should. Really? All this work, all this work is for nothing. There's five people going down. That's half of the room, and I have an unfinished tattoo. You might as well have just bought me a plane ticket home. Does she just quit? <sighs> she's, she's done. What? Wait. Your knees hurt? You don't know about that. Mike. Right here, I got you, man. So, motorcycle was the idea. Yeah, like a drag racing motorcycle. See, the pixelated doesn't fit very well with the motorcycle. What other ideas did you have? Oh, that was what I really wanted to get today. Maybe kind of difficult. And one for of the this. things I think is cool about it is that, I mean, that's one thing you can use to denote the speed because all the pixels flying off the back. I'm worried that there's a lot of details. All right, the other thing I want is a woman riding the bike. This is a design that I can crash and burn on. We definitely had to go with some black and gray to make sure that we yeah. get a little detail. Yeah, that's fine. So you flexible on that part? Yeah. Awesome, nice. What kind of colors are you going to use? With this, black and gray is going to be the best thing to uh, keep. That's not what I asked for, man. I asked for the graphic, vibrant color. That's what yeah. I want. No, but you did say we were kind of open with the we whole talked thing, about right? some of the background, having some gray and... No, that's with the way. motorcycle parts. No, I want color. It's, it's not going to... It, it won't work. You're gonna give me a tattoo, it's gonna be a color tattoo, buddy. Yeah, well, but with the... What no, 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 <laughs> What's going on? I asked for a color tattoo. He came and he showed me this. It's just a matter of turning this from black and gray to color. He said, I can't do this in color. I'm thinking about your skin long term. You know, I just don't think you can do what I ask for. No, color's not an issue for Mike. I think there was just a miscommunication there. Well, now I don't trust him. Why? You didn't listen to me. It comes back with something totally different than I asked for. I don't want to do it with you. If I can't get what I want, then I'm done. <clears throat> I am completely screwed right now. I even tried to talk him down. I even told him, hey, give me a chance. Let me, let me talk to you. And he was like, no. If I don't do a tattoo today, this could be it. I could be going home. So look, we're gonna figure out what happens. I hate getting tattooed, but I'll, I'll go put some shorts on, bro. We could do a clean black and gray rose and pixelate it good. Pull it up, let's look at some references. All right. I really don't want to get tattooed. Damn! I'll be lied on you, man, I promise. Bro, you better. I'll kick you in your balls so hard. God! Ah! So what I was thinking of doing, too, was putting a triangle. Yeah, we're definitely gonna do a triangle. See, we're already on the same page, dude. I'm telling you. Just don't Make it hurt. <laughs> I appreciate you jumping in. And you guys are in the I'm in it with you, right? Yeah. This is why I picked to be on Anthony's team, because of who he is. And the fact that he steps up and he's jumping in says a whole lot. But at the same time, I feel like I'm taking my coach away from the team. Man, I'm a whole big old bag of complications. I got it. Go oh, check it out. I kept it really fun, really playful. Clean and Eric thought that they would trip me up by giving me new school, but I'm still gonna infuse my own style into this tattoo. I'm gonna knock this thing out of the park. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, girl. You ready for some more work or what? You know, I just feel like at this point, I'm not really wanting to continue on with the tattoo. Who starts a 35-hour back piece and doesn't go through with it? I didn't There's have time to think about it. There's $100,000 on the line, girl. I, I mean, and you know, I you're killing me right now. And I finally get here, and it's like, I got all this on the line. I just, I don't know what to do, man. My anxiety is on level 11 right now. I'm screwed. Hey, Dave. Got a little bit of a snag here. You're telling me, dude. What we're going to do is send you another canvas. I feel like I'm having a panic attack. God. We got this little back guy over here. <clears throat> My canvas is whimpering with pain. This is kind of a big tattoo. There's no way she's gonna be able to sit through another tattoo tomorrow. I have just screwed myself over so bad. Five, four, three, two, one. 
That's it, time's up, machine's down. Kev. Hmm? We gotta talk to you. So, your canvas can't do it. Really? Yeah, she's feeling like she can't make it from her first tattoo. So she's gonna pull out. I broke her. Kevin's canvas got tattooed by Kelly yesterday, and Kelly did a very big, very elaborate tattoo, and her canvas cannot take another day. There he is. Ethan Oz's canvas, it's bad already. What are you thinking? Uh, not into it at all. No? No. I want to punch this dude in his face. He's a sucker, and he's burning me out. What is is the face? You don't like the face? What are you That's doing? not even at all. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about, man? This is not you even. You mean these lines right here? It's just like two different frames. That's my concern. I don't want to play with this dude. All these shenanigans, this is not working for me. You just want this to be the same? Yeah, I want them the same. How'd that go? Good. Everyone else is tattooing while I'm over here playing with this guy. I'm like a little concerned. Like, we're, it's like half an hour. We haven't even started. Are we gonna be all right? Don't worry about it, man. Dude, chill out, man. Put your head in that pillow. Buck's pissed. I'm pissed. This kid is breaking my balls. You need to handle some of these canvases with baby gloves. You don't tell a customer to shut up. You just lost the battle right there, dude. I'm so good. I'm gonna pass out, bro. Don't, don't, don't say that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like not even joking, though. Yeah, I'm feeling the colors. Medic. Medic. This is really bad. Uh, mm -hmm. Feeling dizzy or anything like that? Yeah. I've accomplished nothing with this tattoo. My outline's not even finished. So sit first before you stand, okay? Because this kid can't handle the pain, I can't do my damn job. Keith and King Rock are tattooing way too rough. My guess is they were just shredding the shit out of his legs. That's what's causing this guy to tap out. Yeah, 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 you know, he's doing great. If that's the case, one or both of these guys are going home today. All right, buddy. Come on back up. All right. Let's try this again. Hey, man, you all right? Buddy, buddy, yo, I do just trying to shake a lot here, bro. Time is not on my side, and this situation is only getting worse. Like, I'm trying to control it? You might be sending me home. You a sucker, man. I'm gonna need some bathroom. Can you show me the bathrooms? Okay, come on, man. You okay? You all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. He just passed out. Can you get James here, please, immediately? Damn it. Straight at me. Go ahead, come here. Stop talking and just look straight at me. This is the worst possible scenario. This kid's tapping out, I'm finished. Yo, Rock, humble would went. Psh. He just passed out yeah. out there? Just tell me if you want to fall over. Say it loud, okay? He's not gonna come back at all. He's done, done. Nah, he's done. I'm going home. Nah, I don't know about that. What about tattooing yourself? One hour to go, everyone. One hour remaining. I'm not going home off of a chump tapping out. I don't get down like that. What the f man? I guess Rug got a tattoo himself. You know what? I'm not scared to tattoo myself. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to tattoo a traditional style rose. I just need to show the judges I can saturate some black and I can show contrast. It's real right now. The fact that Ruck is willing to tattoo himself shows that he still wants to compete. Keith doesn't want to compete. Keith wants to cry. He's a bitch. Pack his bags and let him go home. I just do it, Ruck. OK. Tattoo the rose. Can I see it? Yeah. I know that I could still be going home, but I also know that I did everything that I could do to stay in this competition. I'm here to compete. Good for you, man. Good for you. Your dude gave out, right? Oh, man. I was going to do a stellar tattoo, man. Dude, the tattoo I was going to do was it. over the top, dude. You didn't see All Right? No, the line work's all I seen. Dude, the line work was even halfway finished, man. Why didn't you tattoo yourself? Because I'm in a room, dude. Ruck stayed down there and gave himself a tattoo. Well, if you had space, you had space. I, I don't. You would have been able to find a spot or even I, cover up something. Kyle, I tried, man. You hear me? 
Brock only did something that big. I don't give a Dude, my mapped out, man. You think about it, dude. Dude. 100,000. Dude. So why didn't you put it on yourself? Where, dude, my dick? I tattooed myself there. All right, well, cool. Ready? Let's go. All right. I'm doing great. It feels good to know that there's an artist who wants to help. My wedding is coming up, and I have a beautiful wedding dress, and I don't know what I would do if I have to have this tattoo anymore. <laughs> Two lines in and this girl's already screaming. No! Ah! No, 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 no! Ah! No, no, no! She's moving all over the place. If she can't sit still, she's gonna have a bad tattoo. You all right? I really don't know what Jeremy's doing in there, but whatever he's doing, it's wrong. He's screwing up somewhere. Nobody should be screaming. All right, guys, four hours to go. <laughs> The stakes are high for these people that come in to get tattoos because they're gonna be permanently marked forever. I mean, some of the greatest artists in the world have made mistakes on people. I was very nervous. Warm. I'm glad that I'm not mm -hmm. freaking out. <laughs> ah! No, I can't, I can't. I can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't. You okay? Wanna keep going? I can't. This is absolutely the worst client that I've ever had sit for me. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I dealt with the pain as much as I could so that I could show my family and friends this beautiful tattoo. But I had to stop. I, I couldn't do it anymore. So embarrassing. <laughs> There's a hundred grand on the line here, and it sucks that I got stuck with this girl for my first client. She's going a little crazy and freaking out. <laughs> she might be the one thing that causes me to go home. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have a tattoo that's barely got any work done on it because of that I think I might be going home today. Come here, Jeremy. What the hell happened? What, you got a jackhammer in there? I don't know, man. She needed a muffler, that's all I know. Some people just can't take pain. Uh, <sighs> I'm not feeling bad for Jeremy. He's my competition. And he can't get it right, that's on him. One less person for me to have to worry about. So what happens now, you're not like in this competition now? No, I am. They're gonna judge that? Somebody here gets eliminated and I stay? That's not fair to you guys. But if you get eliminated, if eliminate that's, that's not, not fair. fair to me. Should nobody go home in a situation like yeah. this? Jeremy, you're up first. Your assignment today was to fix the crooked angel wings. It's hard for me to comment because clearly I haven't finished here. She had a tough time from the very beginning. Ah! Ah! Oh. It would have been awesome in the end, but we didn't get there. I want a metal plate that bolts, like a PCB circuit board. Some of the stuff you want will not work for this challenge. If I give my canvas the tattoo that he wants, I'm going home today. I definitely want the machine screws, you know, like a real robot. That's not considered biomechanical. Sure what is. I showed of course you, it is. Any, anything... It's considered mechanical. Right, biomechanical. Biomechanical. Part. I'm not going to risk my livelihood for your stupid tattoo idea that has nothing to do with the challenge. If we do not follow the challenge, it'll send me home. Robots are not biomechanical. What I showed you originally... Are robots mechanical or not? But yes. if you don't meet the challenge... It meets and if the you challenge. Go off, can you let me finish? My canvas is a straight-up ass... We need to have some respect right now. I'm trying to be respectful, but you're not compromising. You're just telling me what I'm to do. I'm willing to move a little bit, but you've got to come and move with me, too. I'm getting so frustrated. You're getting frustrated. This guy is not receptive at all. He's stressing me out so bad. You could do that style some, but... The challenge is this style. So how can I do it some if the challenge is this style? Give me some direction or go. Punch in some. Don't be like, punch in some, uh, uh. My children are depending on me right now, and his things he wants in this tattoo are going to send me home, and I can't let that happen. You need to go so I can get to work. 
Right, but I want to see what you're... Go. How you doing? All right, so this is what I've come up with. I got the cables coming around, and then we have the bio part, which is what they're looking for. And if you don't like it, I'm just gonna tattoo it on myself. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. All right, go on. You should, I mean, it's Peace. just nothing. Bye. It's my tattoo, it's on my body, so I want ideas that I had too. I'm trying to work with her, and she's not willing to work with me not one bit. Are you willing to compromise a little bit? No. Because you really didn't put anything that I, I wanted to. I put cables of metal in there. You don't, don't worry want, about it. You I don't got want to compromise tattoo tattooing myself. I compromised a lot on this. You didn't compromise. And I really me. do a great tattoo. No, you don't. You kept saying all kinds of no stupid rod. I'm not putting pistons I didn't want of pistons. I said you... and cables. No, 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 no. I didn't say, I said some metal. Goodbye, said, like, have a nice life. Go f yourself. I don't want to tattoo myself, but at this point, I have no choice. I'm not going to let some ass be responsible for me going home today. See what you're doing here. Is this the design that the guy didn't want? He didn't want any of the biomechanical in it. He just wanted only mechanical. Okay. So it wouldn't have met the challenge. I know I have to do this for my children. I have everything on the line right now. So what's your take? Did you hear any of that? She was just going off on the guy, you know, so. Would you have bounced that guy? No. I would have gave him exactly what he wanted. Julia is a dumbass. She should have just tattooed her canvas, but I think her art abilities caught up to her and she couldn't provide what he wanted. My tattoo is so awesome. I really showed today that I deserve to be here. What are you thinking, Julia? You sent your canvas home. You told this giant ass dude to F off. Plus, it looks like you did a cover-up on your own leg, girl. You're going home. Hey, guys. Wow. What's up? Wow. What's up, Squeaks? Not much. I'm super tired. <laughs> I think you could have came up with something to tattoo the guy. I would have drawn exactly what the guy wanted. He just wanted metal and cables. I was he listening. I heard exactly it. what he wanted. But this guy would not budge. No, he I think you were just trying to give him a style that he totally didn't want. No, I was trying to compromise with him the whole time, and he's a disrespectful dick who's unwilling well, to compromise. Well, after he found out that he, you weren't going to give him what he wanted. I did everything I could. I don't know. What do you think? Think she copped out? Oh. If you can say I copped out after just tattooing myself for six hours, I didn't want to tattoo myself. I really did not want to do that. That was the last thing I want to do. Julia. There were some unusual circumstances with you and your canvas. Before we get into that, let's discuss the work that you have presented for us. This is probably the strongest thing as a judge I've seen you do. It has a lot of contrast. It has a lot of depth. So, Julia, now let's talk about what happened in your consult. The guy just kept cutting me off, and I was just like, I'm trying to work with you. I'm trying to do what you want. And then at one point, he shushed me. So I was just like, look, this is the design, and if you don't want to do it, I'm just going to tattoo it on myself at this point. There are two sides to every story. Maybe we should hear from your canvas. For me. Should I laugh off now? Hey, buddy, thanks for joining us. No problem. What is your side of the story? She hated every idea that I had. She said they were all crap. She no, said they're I all didn't so outdated. She just said, I have to do her tattoo or I wasn't getting a tattoo. And I said, Well, can't you just change anything? She's like, I will not change nothing. I was on the, the computer the whole time, just like, well, let me show you this, let me show you this. And I was like, just tell me the components you want then. And, and yeah, but you were super rude about it. You have to always work with that client or starve and not feed your family. Exactly. Okay, because that is how we make our money, is working with our clients. Everyone that At knows this me point, as an artist knows how I listen, am. Listen, just has... stop, stop. Don't dig it deeper. Mark, thank you very much, okay, man. Thank Good luck, you. buddy. This week, we're testing your fundamentals. Every year, thousands of people are getting their first tattoos. Tattoo virgins offer plenty of clean skin, but they're not always the easiest clients. Today, you'll be giving a virgin their first tattoo. Why? 
do we have to tattoo virgin skin. It is by far the worst thing. You might get somebody to just say, I can't do this anymore. And I'm gone because of a client. Good luck. All right, so you wanted a cobra on your ribcage? Yeah. You want scorpion and a bull? Yeah. I like the idea of the blood and the purple, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, we're gonna rock it, man. But thank you for not getting bacon. So you want a city made of bacon? Yes. My human canvas wants this big back piece. Upper back, right? Yep. All right, so we're only gonna have about six hours with what to work. Yeah. I don't wanna bite off something and leave you with something half finished. A back piece is not feasibly accomplished in six hours. There's a lot of detail, and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be able to finish. I know if I the judges are gonna send me packing. There's a lot of talented people here f***ing their pants. This has to be the best angel I've ever done. Somebody didn't do her homework. For today's elimination tattoo, we're testing your fundamental tattoo skills. You have six hours, and your time starts now. The elimination tattoo today, we are looking for the cleanest, most solid, fundamental, quality tattoos. I think that's gonna fit sick. Yeah. These canvases are sensitive because they're first timers, they're virgins. That's the gray area. Because some of the tattoos these clients want are a nightmare. If you feel like you're gonna throw up or anything like that, we'll get some water, get some food in you, and you'll you be good. You got a bucket in here? We got a trash can. All right, all right. <laughs> Stay calm, keep breathing, man. Are you nervous? Oh, super nervous. Super nervous? Yes. Oh, great. Well, you know what, so am I. <laughs> All right, took everything that you wanted, threw it in there. What do you think? Oh my god, that is amazing. I'm lucky enough to land a tattoo of a ninja riding a turtle in a lake with a snake as a leash. This tattoo sucks. Everything cool? It's amazing, actually. I have to just demonstrate fundamentals of tattooing and get the out of this tattoo while I still have a chance to. Are you dying? You gotta earn it. My strategy is to do a different style of tattooing every single tattoo. Uh, Ink Master, to me, is somebody that can do every style. Did you just draw this up? Yes, that is drawn from looking at a regular playing card. I'm not the one to be underestimated. Bottom three, me, nah. Nah. So I'm really just barely tapping you. That's tapping? I'm really, really, really excited about this. I think I'm really gonna impress the judges. The placement's great. I'm using a lot of pretty color. I'm determined to show the judges that I know what I'm doing. I'm not doing so bad. Good <laughs> CJ. Keep rocking. I actually think CJ's tattoo is pretty weak, and this might be a bit of a dick move, but I'm actually encouraging her. Sometimes a false sense of security goes a long ways. 30 minutes, guys. 30 minutes left. Tattooing hurts. That's why I don't have that many. A virgin doesn't understand that. I have, you know, big dreams of getting tattoos in a lot of other places. Those dreams quickly got shattered as soon as you started. Ten minutes, guys. I'm frustrated and struggling. Let's see what we can do. I don't want to show the judges an unfinished piece of work. I know they want to see something crisp, clean, and done. You just keep sitting still. You're taking this like a champ. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Machines down. No more ink. All right, man. Thank you for being a good sport, brother, and working with me, man. <sighs> At least I finished. This tattoo will definitely show that I have a strong fundamental background because a lesser artist would not even be able to think about pulling this off. It's one spot, man. It's not good. I'm pissed at myself, I'm disappointed with myself. Just wish I would have had the time to like really do those little tiny tweaks. These judges are gonna tear me up. It's gonna be way brutal. Welcome artists. This was the judge's first chance to see what you can do on real live skin. This week, your elimination tattoo was giving a virgin their first ink. We were testing your fundamentals. Mark. How was it dealing with your client? It's his first tattoo, and he went for the ribs. It was a bumpy ride, but he held on. Well, I went dark on purpose because he is a darker complected yeah. person. Maybe next time, try doing individual scales and leave a skin break, especially with a darker skin complexion. The darker the skin, the more highlight you want to use. Less is more. Trey. 
You got the griffin. There's not a lot of variation. From across the room, it does look like a big, constant spot of uniform color. I thought my outline was clean. I thought my shading was all right. Tattoo baby. What little outline you did in this tattoo is weak. The face and the hands are jacked. I don't know where you got that face from, but it should never come back again. I don't understand why you just drill a white line across the forehead. That's strange. I was trying to give it the statue look. You're here to go home with money, right? Mm-hmm. This is not the way to get money. Jesse. Oh, I just don't like the placement of that huge new school pop art piece. You have the opportunity to do anything you wanted. You could have done something really nice and feminine. I would hate to see where a cute girl walks into a shop and walks out a little less cute. Anything that happened here? It's my fear. Kay Cutter, how do you feel about this piece? I like what I did for him, man. I changed his life and he changed mine. I mean, I feel good about it. It just seems like you have fear to run a black outline. You can't come here and compete scared to do an outline. This is day one, and this is the beginning. As we move on, it gets harder. So if we can't move past this, where do we move to? Nick. My biggest complaint, it kind of just all has the same shading everywhere. You have to use light and dark. In the dark areas, go more towards black. And in the light areas, use that negative skin space instead of using white. Lalo. I look at this, this guy knows what he's doing. The black is black, a lot of different tones of radiation. Little Mike. It looks phallic to me. The reason it's looking so phallic is because it's got no lips. It's got no mouth. It's got a realistic eye. It's odd, man. Sebastian. We have it all. You did color, you did solid black, you did shading. This is day one, fundamentals. Everybody should take a note from the way you treated this. Thank you. Jamie. This thing is clean, the black is solid. The light shading is nice and soft. Just a fundamental tattoo. You did a great job. Sarah. My problem with it is that if you didn't tell me that this was vacant, I wouldn't know what to say. This is a tough one. A lot of the light colors aren't solid. A lot of the shading on the exterior under the bridge is just kind of. I would just like a little bit more than six hours. Steve. This thing is super tech. Leaving these gears with the hard, heavy, textured black, it is sharp, it is clean. The small use of color, just right, man. Ron, explain to me what this design was. He wanted skull with armor. You cut the guy up on the outline. Maybe your needle was not right or went bad. I changed needles. It's pretty obvious. You cut him up. A cut is a cut, and that's preschool. You can't cut people, because this right here is going to get you going home. Clint, how is this for you? It was hell. I think the main thing that kills it is the snake body itself. There's really no detail in the snake at all. The only thing I could say in my defense was the fact that I had to make it proportion to the fact that he's holding it like a leash. I understand, but where the snake goes back like this, you see the body. It's just like a snake head on a worm. The turtle's got five toenails with a six toe on one leg and four on the other. What are you seeing this at? TJ. You pack this thing solid with color, black, Purple low lights, turquoise highlights, lots of yellow. Looks like the color is in there. I was really trying to impress you guys and do something totally different. CJ. How are you doing? I'm freaking out. I'm not a fan of the colored outline. Well, I was kind of going for a softer feel. That brown outline looks like <laughs> Look at the outline of that hand. I believe that over time, it's gonna get even worse. There's a lot of stuff done almost exclusively with color, and I, th I think it holds up great over time. You did a pretty face, which bums me out, because if you would've just done it with a black outline, you would be standing in different shoes. You've had a rough start. Man, your ink blew up and this and that. I know, dude, I feel you, and I want to see you do great. And you prove that you kind of know how to do certain things by doing that face that way. But how do you do that face and then just move off to the right and lose it? You got to pick it up. What's up, bro? Hey, nice to meet you. How's it going, man? How's it going? You have three hours to help your canvas live life to the fullest by giving them their very first tattoo. And your time starts now. All right, let's do this. Live off. This is your first tattoo, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you nervous? Or Extremely. <laughs> it's okay. I'll talk you through it. 
Adaptability is important in tattooing for the simple fact that the only way that tattooers make money is adapting to their clients. I want to do a pocket watch. It has to say the time, 9.02. That's like the only part that I'm like really adamant about. No, that's fine. That's okay. totally fine. What reason are you getting? Uh... My dad was a watchmaker. My son's birth time was 9.02. And that's like when time really became important. I'm definitely going to do justice to it for you. Today, we're looking for these artists to take the canvas's ideas, sketch them down just like they would in a regular tattoo shop setting, and make them happy. First time tattoo? So what do you want to do? Oh, my cousin passed away. Right before she passed away, she got a sugar skull tattoo. Where's all this going? On my ribs. I'm just concerned with it being your first tattoo. It's like a set in stone type of thing. Three hours to design and tattoo rib piece. On a virgin canvas, that's a memorial. If that doesn't show adaptability, I don't know what does. Now I don't even have time to talk. My anxiety level is on level 20 right now. I don't want to you over. I can't even think straight because I'm coming off a rooftop. I'm already panicked the hell out. If the judges do not see how much I've had to adapt, they're out of their mind. Two more hours to tattoo. Ooh, I think that's pretty good, dude. There's a lot online. I got two beautiful boys. Me being here away from them is probably the hardest part. I feel like I'm pretty adaptable. If anybody wants to win this competition, they got to come through me first. You're going to win this one, though, way. Well, I hope so. Rose tattoos are so iconic and so typical. I want to do something a little bit different. It's an inverted rose. I really need to do what I do best, and that's good tattoos. Chemistry makes a good tattoo. So, I mean, we already won. <laughs> One hour remaining. OK, you ready? We're going to start doing some shading now. There's a lot at stake with this tattoo because I have to represent this woman's feelings, emotions, and her story. So there's a lot riding on it. It looks beautiful. I can't wait to see it. I know that I could bring her idea to life. How are we looking? Five, four. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more tattooing. All right, you want to see it? Yes. Tell me what you think. Wow, looks like 3D. Let's check it out. <gasps> it looks awesome. Julie and I both got a Spartan tattoo. My Spartan's going to whoop her Spartan's ass. You did a great job. All right, Happy here we first go. tattoo. There we go. <laughs> Julia, you're up first. In what ways did you focus on being adaptable to your client? And this is certainly pointed towards you today. After I heard his story of why he wanted it, we came up with the idea of having a real positive tattoo for him. Well, I think it definitely comes off as a positive design. It does have bright colors, and it does have a lot of contrast. It's very clean, very nicely tattooed. Don, what did you want today for your first tattoo? To be an inspiration to myself, to always live like a Spartan, and hopefully to inspire my kids to do the same. The size of this tattoo is a nice size for his arm. And what it means to you and your family is going to make you love this tattoo even more. Emily. She wanted her first tattoo on her ribs. It was important to her, so I was willing to adapt. The shape of the tattoo fits the body nicely. And the soft, smooth, gray little hearts that you did around it look like a nice, soft accent. I think you hit it. Mark, why did you choose that placement? That was all her. I had to adapt to what she wanted. I think that the way it sits now is perfect with the design of my actual body. I really like the design. I think it has a lot of good flow, looks feminine, and just a little bit of dot pattern in there really makes it stand out. Josh. Did you ask Josh for these particular elements? I gave him the microphone, and he just brought it to life. I had to sit there and draw it right in front of him without looking at a bunch of images and do a different style that I'm not really used to. Good job doing what tattoo artists are supposed to be able to do, is to interpret people's ideas and draw it up on the spot. Jason, so did you want Biomech included with this design? Definitely. That must have been a challenge. Yeah, I had to adapt really quick. You did show a lot of lighter shades of gray in your foreground, and then your heavier, deep-set blacks. Good job. Jason's tattoo is boring, it's not dynamic, it's not incredibly readable, it's ridiculous. Eric, what elements did you tell Eric that you needed? I wanted a pocket watch to represent my father and the time, 902, the time my son was born. It's a beautiful tattoo, it's very feminine, but it still has the meaning from her family that she wanted in there. A lot of detail, a lot of bright colors. The tattoo fits the body well, and overall it's a dynamic tattoo. It looks good. Chris. 
I think the detail in this tattoo is very nice. Very close up, you see the stitching and the fabric and the wrinkles. There's a nice contrast. With it just being black and gray, you really have to be careful to let the blue and the red and the white all kind of have a different tone. And I feel like you captured that. Aaron. I think it's a very unique tattoo. I feel like it's definitely something different than what anybody expected. I look at Aaron's tattoo and I can't even tell what the hell it is. He definitely ruined this girl's arm for good. Clean. I always wanted something tribal. And one of the biggest things was getting my kids somehow incorporated. The details are really nice and clean. The black is really solid. Really love the way it fits the arm. It's a cool tattoo, man. Clean's tattoo, it's not accurate. It's not traditional Polynesian tribal. My rose whoops the out of Clean's wrong Polynesian tribal. All right, guys, we're testing adaptability on virgin skin. Eric's tattoo, the clock with the little flower petals, I thought that was pretty nice. By breaking it up with the flowers, he didn't have to show the entire pocket watch. This is a quality walk-in tattoo. Clean, I think, showed some great adaptability. The way it fits his arm and the fact that it's such an interesting shape, I think it's very well put together. Overall, in this competition, he showed nothing but adaptability, and today, it's just par for the course. Chris did a really good job. The heavy black in this tattoo, in contrast with the different tones of gray, show the red and the white and still show the shading and the stripes. He pulled off some really nice tricks. I think we have a decision, right? We do. Today, you had to show adaptability by giving canvases their very first tattoos. Some of you seized the opportunity to create amazing work. Eric, you did a really nice tattoo. Lots of little tricks and appealing to the eye. Thank you. Clean. You took imagery that you're not 100% familiar with and making a cool design for this guy is a perfect example of adaptability. Chris, it definitely had the right amount of contrast for this to stand out as a strong black and gray tattoo. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is... Eric. Giving this girl a nice, feminine, beautiful tattoo that she's going to be happy with, job well done. It is a solid, strong, badass tattoo. Artists, you have six hours to create an anatomical tattoo, and your time begins. Now. Oh my god. It's not even done yet. That looks sick. Yeah. So I like it here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we got this. I like that. My canvas wants to get his bones on top of his hand. He wants them to go all the way down to his up fingers. With as much well. arthritis as you have in your fingers, I might have to make the finger joints a little bigger. As long as it matches. His mitt is too swollen, too big. It's not at all like the stencil that I was working off of. You got a great big mitt, man. I have to show precision here, so we're going to have to freehand some finger pieces in. Here we go. My canvas wanted plain, simple cat scratches on her foot, but what I came back with was better. It's an anatomical part inside of her thigh, and there's a bow sewn in and out of it. I definitely threw her the idea of doing something a little bit different. Nobody really has this. There's a lot of things that I learned last season. I am not here to play it safe. My canvas wants her armpit tattooed with an anatomical heart. Ah. I really want to be able to impress the judges. What made you want to get this in your armpit? I can't. I can't. You can. Oh, my God. You can handle it. Ah. Four hours to go, everybody. My canvas wants a rotten rib cage with pink guts hanging out. I'm really going to show lots of precision in the placement of it. It's coming together so great. All right. Oh, here you go, Madison. We'll go ahead and give you a $100,000 now. The judges might be looking for more of a realistic look to my tattoo. I'm taking a risk. I might really stand out by doing something a little different. I'm doing a G-clef staff cut out of the deltoid muscle, as if it was surgically removed from the body. So I'm going to do partial saturation and then build up uh, during the process. What is this tattoo? I have no idea. That's not anatomical at all. One hour to go. He wants his rib cage tattooed. So I said, instead of going in, I want to bring something out of the skin. Yeah, I'm going to leave some skin and stuff. That way it's like some traditional 
elements to it. I know I'm taking a risk with this design, but I'm following the actual rib cage, and I hope that it pays off. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it. Time's up, machine's down, no more ink. Turned out so good. I'm so excited for you. This is like my favorite music tattoo I've ever done now. I love it. Me too. Let's see what happens from here, man. And then finish it. It's a possibility that I can be the one to go home on this one. This week, we had you create an anatomical tattoo using precision to make it look exactly like the inside of the body. Kyle. The detail you got in the bones and the way that you laid this tattoo out, placement was incredibly hard. My thing on this tattoo that I don't like is obviously the use of the white. As I would do a line on his hand, three minutes later, it was blown out. I started trying to hide some of it with my white lines. All that white won't hold, and it puts your client through a lot of extra pain for no gain. Jackie. How much research did you do on the spine? I stayed up for hours trying to research each section. You took your time to put the details in each bone. You made it look like bone. It doesn't come off as rocks. More than anything, you really surprised me, and it's a great surprise. Jackie, well done. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Craig. The little details you put in here, the precise fine lines you put in, the strands of those muscles, and the way you followed it with the shading, it's really nice. This is what you guys are competing against. And this is what we compare all of your muscle tissue to. At the end of the day, this is what you're fighting, not me. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Craig. We felt like you did the best job. The color, how it popped out, all the way to the detail. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much. You have six hours to create a biomechanical tattoo, and your time begins now. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right, yeah. These tattoos need crazy amounts of detail to make it come to life. Ribbing, piping, bone matter. If somebody can't deliver, they got to go. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Just making sure. No one in this challenge has a chance against me today. I'm making this head tattoo big, bold, dark, and just badass. I know what I'm doing, and I'm not going anywhere. Getting this, trying to make progress. I'm here to win. Get my money and go home. When my mother passed away, I was 17. She was stolen from me before I even showed her my first tattoo. Her memory, that's what's keeping me going. I need to win this. You know Aaron Kane's here, so you better take your time on a biomech piece. <laughs> a good idea. When I do a rib tattoo, I attack. I go after it, I do it as big and bold as I can. I know I'm a proficient solid tattooer, I'm technically sound, and I'm gonna kick some ass today. It's a big piece, especially on the ribs. I always go ballistic. One hour to go, final hour. Doing all right? You can sit here all day. The ribs are a very difficult area to tattoo. I want to show off that I can do a clean, technical tattoo and a difficult skin. My rival's still here. I've been in the bottom. I feel like there's a ton of pressure right now. Give me some thicker lines. I'm excited to see your tattoo. I'm excited to see yours, pal. Thanks, buddy. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, that's it, machine's down, time is up. No more tattooing, please. Check it out. Wow, oh, the detail's unreal, that's crazy. <laughs> that's awesome. Today, all of you went head to head creating biomechanical tattoos. Emily. This is a nice, clean tattoo. It's kind of a delicate approach to biomech. I like the symmetry that you did. The two opposing images, they do have a nice flow. This is actually one of my favorites. The softness of the two pieces coming together and the way it looks like jewelry, I think is really nice. Thank you very much. Holy balls. Jason. 
There's a couple of really strong tricks in here. Using opposing contrasting colors. It's like bang, bang. That makes it dynamic immediately. I think the amount of detail is nice, very legible. Overall, I think it's a well done tattoo. Eric. My favorite part of this tattoo is the readability. The composition is really strong. You got the biomic elements just right. The contrast you got from the monochromatic background and then those red elements in the foreground really gives it a punch. Overall, good work. Thank you. Clean. You didn't go crazy in details, but there's tremendous detail in it. You did a lot of repetitive things, only they don't repeat themselves. Each section of the beads is different. It gives more of an artistic feel. I tried to change up a little bit as I went, just so it wasn't so stiff. This is a strong tattoo. Thanks. All right, let's pull the judges and award tattoo of the day. I really like Jason's design. That stands out to me across the room is that's biomech. I like Eric's. I mean, it's executed well. If you want to talk detail, I would say Clean probably had the best detail. What I like about Clean's tattoo is even though he did a rigid design, he was smart enough to just make it free-flowing. Final decision. I think Eric. I'm going with Clean. And I'm going with Clean. The winner of the best tattoo of the day is Clean. Thank you. You have six hours to create an illusion. And your time begins now. Great, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the stencil on you. In order to achieve an optical illusion tattoo properly, you're gonna really have to know the anatomy and dynamics of the image that you're tattooing and the body part that you're placing it on. And left. Dude, that's perfect on the first try. If you're not ingenious doing these tattoos, you will not succeed. Oh, uh... They really didn't like the show. There's not much elements besides the scales on her face that are gonna make her look like a mermaid. I just know my pain tolerance, and I just want you to be able to have a finished piece. Whether I do a hand or a hand with a shell on it, it's gonna be about the same amount of time. I have to show ingenuity with this tattoo. If I start taking details out, it might make no sense. I'm going head to head with my mentor, Cruzman. I really, really just need to win an elimination challenge. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. How you doing? My final tattoo before I go home, Ski. I feel like I can't win for nothing, man. I'm just getting screwed left and right. I have too much integrity to give this lady a headless pinup on the back of her head. I'm not gonna do it. Sometimes you can't be bought. This is the type of challenge that's making me want to throw in the towel. Hi. Hi. I'm Chris. Brandy. So originally I had drawn up a Medusa right for the other girl. Kind of tweaked it up to make it work. How do you feel about the same concept? Not my style. I'm thinking water goddess, like mermaid. Okay, gotcha. All right. I just drew for three hours for the Medusa. I'm meeting my new canvas, and she wants a water goddess or a mermaid. Another three hours of drawing. After he sees what I'm doing, he's going to try to like overshoot it. He could try to go bigger even. My head's all screwed up. I'm burnt. I'm spent. <sighs> I'm here for one thing. So this time, I'm not screwing around. <laughs> Craig is here to play the game against other strong artists, and he chose to go head-to-head -head with me. I definitely feel the heat, because you're a rad tattooer. I wasn't going for anybody easy. You've been killing it. <laughs> Thank you. Huge mistake going up against me. I'm tattooing a bold, bright, traditional tattoo on this guy's knee ditch to knock Craig out. Oh, yeah. Three hours remaining. Three more hours. Oh, my god. So that would be like the general idea. And we'll start some seashell. OK, awesome. I finally got the water goddess drawn. We're ready to tattoo. Mentally prepared for six hours, OK? The goal is to finish and win. That's it. Chris doesn't get discouraged easily. If anything, he's going to try harder to beat St. Mark out. And hopefully, he just kicks his ass. We're doing some ass grass. We're going to leave the grass ass colored. I am an artist with vision. It's going to be hard to stack up against my tattoo. Chris is going to have to work double time to try to even get close. Final hour of tattooing. Uh, towards the end is the worst part. I made it this far. You're doing really good. All I can do is try to coach her down a little bit to keep her from tapping out on me. You all right? Yeah. Just going to power through. Bear with me. I really need to win against Earl. That will prove that I deserve to be here. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. 
It looks amazing. I love it. I love it. Sweet. Cruzman might just go to the bottom with this tattoo. He did not try to use her hair for the illusion at all. I expected way more out of him. Have fun. You think I'm rattled because of this? I'm a Marine. I'm going to adapt. I'm going to overcome this one. I'm going to give her a fantastic tattoo. St. Mark, you have nothing on me, and I'm going to beat you in this challenge. got to hang with me, OK? I'm trying. Today, you had to use ingenuity to come up with a clever way to transform your canvas's body part. Craig. In the bends of the knee, the skin is very soft. It's very delicate. I think you did a great job applying this tattoo. The way it's placed on here, when her leg's straight, it looks great. When her leg's bent, it looks great. It's just a really smooth, slick tattoo. Chris. I really like this tattoo. I think that it's really dynamic and beautiful. Your palette is excellent. It absolutely hits the challenge in terms of making this girl's ass crack into the cleavage of this sea goddess. It is a solid, strong, badass tattoo. Dave. Out of the people that had to attach a foot or a hand onto a foreshortened image, you're the one that took the right approach. This angle of the arm has a smooth transition out from way back, leaning forward to the fist. It's a nice, smooth, soft ending, and I think you really pulled the tattoo off. Big C's. You have done a really great job of making this belly button the Buddha's belly button. The shading in this, so much better than anything I've seen from you. And I'm happy for you. I'm glad to see you come back. I am attempting a lot. I want to start looking up some reference really quick. Okay. And we're going to get an idea of what you like um, color-wise, style-wise, okay. design-wise. The colors that I want, I want to kind of be like, like a phoenix colors, like oranges and like burnt, you know, burnt oranges and reds and purples and stuff like that. I am a black and gray artist. Precision in color is not one of my strong points. We don't want it to look too close to a phoenix. But I do want the colors, the oranges and the reds and you the You want purples. like burnt colors. Yes, yes. Got it. Ryan. You being one of the top dogs on your team to doing this, big decline. It was just a horrible case of very poor time management. All right, guys, today we're testing precision. When I look at the face of this thing, it looks semi-realistic. It looks like a bird. Tell me what's wrong with it on a precision level. The areas that are skin tone that have a black outline around them, those outlines are scratchy and terrible and picked up a 1,000 places. Nowhere in there does it look like a solid black outline. I'm gonna kick those boys' butts today. Uh, yeah. Originally, my canvas requested three planets and three names. But I convinced my canvas that we are not doing the names. Gian, dummy. Little match made in heaven, Gian, sorry. He thought he was throwing us under the bus. Mm. Gian thought he was giving me one of the worst canvases, and I turned that around. Ryan stoked. She talked that lady out of that Stoked. Right? Mm -hmm. I would be. Ryan. I really like the black that you use, even though the rings get a little wobbly. And I think you have a lot of good tricks. Thank you. Looking strong here. Thank you. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Gian and Ryan were the shining moments. I would say that Gian turned in a more technically clean tattoo. However, Ryan has better examples of contrast. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Thank you. Gia is my girl, and I am seriously worried. Did you see everybody else's? Well, I just saw Gia's. I told her she got the one that I would have wanted. It was the cat. That's the one I wanted, too. But Gia has a worse report card than I do, and so I mm -hmm. took one for the team. That's really what we thought. Ryan. Your fabric, the layers of garment with the ruffles, looks really good. You definitely show ingenuity. The drawing's great. Thank you. All right, guys, time to discuss who had the best tattoo of the day. Today, I think thinking out of the box and the ingenuity challenge, John just sends home a really strong tattoo. It was the perfect design, the perfect application. Had you fumbled on that or anything, then immediately I would be with Ryan. You got gentle hands. I'm Remember very light-handed. I'm a lady tattooer, and I tattoo like a lady. 
Now that Gia got eliminated, there are only three of us left. And if we want to survive this thing, we're going to have to pull together. I want to be alongside those two girls in the end. These females can knock off some of these dudes easily. Eric and I are the only pair of artists that ended up swapping canvases. And even though he's been tattooing for over 20 years, I am not afraid of adapting to another artist's work. You want to learn something, look at the other side of her head. You're just being a pain in my ass. I'm going to make my side of the tattoo stand out a lot better than Ryan's by throwing in way more detail. I'm going to nail this tattoo, and I'm going to win tattoo of the day. Ryan and Eric guys picked each other's canvases. Let's start off with Eric. Eric, I love this floating figure that you have in the center. Then the color trickles off into this gnarly pattern. It looks great. What I love about the way these two tattoos tie together is the fact that, Eric, you created that beautiful floating geometric shape, and it looks like that's the light that's backlit on Ryan's tattoo. This is the first time that we've had both teams tattooing at the same time. Anybody standing out in the front? Yeah, it's Eric and Ryan for the win. My vote is for Ryan. Bastards. Winner of the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Thank you. Congratulations. Looks awesome. It looks great. I want to get the feathers done and then go in and start yeah. detailing okay. it. The better I feel about this tattoo, the worse I feel for our alliance. It's obvious I couldn't save them during this skull pick. If they don't pull through, I could be sending one of my girls home. Today, you had to tattoo a detailed hourglass. Team Peck, you assigned the canvases. Let's see how you did. Ryan, you're up first. When I heard the canvases request, I wasn't sure how you were going to get it together, but you killed it. The detail in the hourglass, the detail in the feathers. Detail is the word of the day, and you definitely killed it. This tattoo has detail all the way throughout it, the cracks and the weathering of the skull. And then also, your transition from the sand to this skull was really well done. You have a lot of creativity, and your drawings are fun to look at. You're definitely pushing harder artistically than a lot of people in the room. Time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I like Ryan's tattoo the most. It's the best tattoo that I've seen today, especially from a detail standpoint. I vote for Ryan as well. Chris. I would actually say Nikki. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Congratulations. Thank you. Ryan. Beautiful design, beautiful tattoo. I love to see this really classic, iconic imagery. I would have definitely done the flames in color. I feel like the shadows with the darkness at the top of the flames, it's a little less clear than it could have been. Where are you looking to get it at? On my upper arm, photorealistic color. I'm also going with photorealistic color on my back. I cannot do color. It's just not what I do. If this is the canvas I get, I could really be screwed. What do you think? Put two people up that are really good against each other, so one of them goes down. Thank you. Who do you want to go up against? I think Ryan. Because Ryan doesn't do color, and I'm definitely doing color today. OK. Let's do it. Stand your ground. First tattoo. First time. OK, canvases one by one. Please read the artist's name on the bottom of your skull. Ryan. I'm sweating because I can't do color realism on a toddler portrait. I'm just gonna have to get a black and gray tattoo. I think his little plaid shirt is adorable, and I would definitely include that. If I can convince this canvas to switch to black and gray, I can flip this entire thing around on Kevin. I am a portrait artist. I do portraits That's regularly. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's such good news. Um, Great. But I do black and gray tattoos. I see that you do add some color. So that's an option, maybe? Color tattoos don't age as well as black and gray. Well, it looks like um, you can still make the eyes bright, which is what yeah. I wanted. I wanted bright eyes. And you can do that with black and gray. Oh, absolutely. If I'm doing black and gray on portrait day, kiss your ass goodbye, Kevin. Oh my god, that's gorgeous. You got everything. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Good job. Kevin's tattoo looks kind of like an old man with weird striped taffy candy laid on his head like a wig. I can confidently say my portrait is way more accurate than Kevin's. Kevin, you tattooed the same portrait as Ryan. This was the hardest one of the portraits to do. 
I wouldn't have chose this photo. It's not an easy one. Color portraits is a thing that I honestly enjoy, so. The colors that you picked are very much the color of your canvas's skin. So when this thing does heal and washes out, you're gonna have really strong eyes, a strong bottom of a nose, and some really heavy blue lines. Ryan, you tattooed the same portrait as Kevin. The hair looks a little bit animated, like a comic book. It just takes a little bit of the life out of it. The other thing that gets me is the right eye has more of a V to the top of it in your portrait than a soft, subtle roll. Those are soft little details that you miss, but on accuracy day, those are the things to point out. In terms of accuracy, there are areas where both of them really succeeded and areas where they both lost it. I think Ryan's hair is more accurate. I think Ryan's shirt is more accurate. I think Kevin's face is more accurate overall. These two are definitely challenged, and that's making it hard to even come off with a winner. I Me, mean, personally, I'd rather wear Ryan's tattoo. My vote's for Ryan. Ryan. All right, winner of this head-to-head -head challenge is Ryan. Congratulations. You OK, Ryan? What are you thinking? I just feel like that was kind of brutal. Nate and Gian didn't get such a brutal critique on theirs. I can look at Nate's tattoo or Gian's tattoo and pick apart a bunch of little things that were really inaccurate. There was so many more areas of your guys' portrait to be nitpicked. What's just frustrating is... What's frustrating is you've had nothing but good critiques throughout a lot of this competition. And you've had plenty of mistakes, too. But now that you're getting critiqued, now you know how it feels. You or Nikki, every time y'all get a critique, oh, the world's ending. Oh my god, Nate, you know, I'm like, not saying that. Get I'm over saying it. I think that you guys got a really awesome critique and that you didn't deserve all of this smoke blown up your ass. Okay. Like, I didn't think your tattoos were that good. I thought they were all good tattoos. But it's the tiny little things in portraits that separate good tattoos from great tattoos. So who's in the bottom today? I mean, we're going to have to bring three people down. Kevin's hair and shirt, that's one in the bottom. Nowhere does it really look like hair. It looks like a statue. Right. Then Ryan, that is not the kid. That hair is made up. And so is the nose. So is that right eye. I do not have a problem bringing Ryan to the bottom. This is an interesting day because we are going to have three artists in the bottom on portrait day who each did a pretty great portrait. Today, you tattooed portraits. Based on your work, one of you will close shop. Time to hear from the jury appears. Now, I understand that you did not reach a decision, is that accurate? It was a hard split. There was no moving anybody. The right eye is a different shape. There's eyelashes on her left eye that aren't in the photo. Ryan put a hell of a dimple in the cheek. My canvas specifically requested those things from me. I feel like there's issues in Kevin's that were not addressed. The lip is a weird shape. The nose is too angular for that little boy. He completely well, missed the shadow well, I mean, above the is, eyebrow. You the hair your is eyes, two different, you excuse me. His the hair cheeks, is two different changed, colors. Those are all important things. Well, my thing is it still looks more like the boy in the face than yours does. All right, guys, time to decide who's going home. If you guys both worked in my tattoo shop and did these, I would be more happy with the one that Nikki did based on knowing that it's gonna look better over time. I'd have to say Kevin. I do not know what things are going to turn into. I think Kevin's looks more like the child than Nikki's does. So I vote for Nikki to go home. For longevity and bones and what the tattoo's got to be, Kevin. The judges have decided, Kevin, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. And switch stations. Are you good there, Ryan? Perfect. Are you good? I'm good. Once again, just like any other Team Peck challenge, Gian and I are working well together taking the lead. You already outlined the whole medium? No. Yeah. no. None of this is done. That's not. But Nate is just pessimistic and slow. What's the plan? Look what Ryan's doing, and you start doing what she's doing. Nate has to pull his together, or Gian and I are going down with him. I'm really surprised at how well Team Peck is doing. Ryan and I are making sure that these designs look like one person made it. She is badass for black and gray. I've been doing good tattoos all season. I haven't been to the bottom yet. To make it to the finale, it's pretty simple. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Today, you had to show consistency tattooing cyborg tattoos. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Let's see how you did. 
Team Peck. Looking at the three tattoos, they all have a consistent feel. But there are a couple of differences. The one with the trigger, it looks like the smoothest of the three. It has a much softer, powdery feel to it. That's the one that's the most open and the most readable. Your other tattoos have a lot of small, tucked away pieces that are in there. The left leg is a lot heavier, a lot blacker, and a lot deeper in your outlines, as opposed to the other leg. Those outlines, they're thin. There's a lot of wobbles. One thing I was unsure about is like, what is ripping out? Is that supposed to be skin or plywood ripped open? For the skin rip? Oh, is it skin? Yeah, what he asked us for was almost like a striped slash sort of like claw look. I mean, it looks like you definitely did what he asked for. And sometimes that can be a little bit dangerous. Thank you. To earn a spot in this year's live finale, must survive a 15-hour tattoo marathon. I'm going to have a heart attack. I can't imagine getting through one tattoo, let alone a 15-hour marathon. You must tattoo every style that you critiqued as the jury of peers and did not tattoo. So it turns out you aren't safe from those styles after all. For the first five hours, Team Peck, you'll tattoo Medusa's, while Team Nunez, you'll tattoo a peacock. For the next five hours, Team Peck will create watercolor tattoos, while Team Nunez tattoos outer space. Watercolor? I am not a color tattoo artist, and this is the most colorful of color tattoos. How am I going to pull that off? And for the final five hours, Team Peck must tattoo a new school landmark, while Team Nunez tattoos a pinup. Oh my god, I thought I was safe and I wouldn't have to revisit peacocks and space and pinups. After each five hour tattoo is completed, the judges will critique your work. The artist that wins the best tattoo of the day will earn their spot in the live finale immediately. If you don't have the best tattoo that day, you must continue tattooing in the marathon. I need to nail this on day one, and I won't have to worry about having to do two color challenges in the following days. Your canvases for each of the tattoos have been randomly assigned and are completely open. You guys do have an advantage. If you were paying attention to the critiques, then you guys all heard what it was that we didn't like about those things. You know exactly what to come out and do. Draw, make something good, tattoo well, get a spot. I am a black and gray artist. If I'm going to earn a place in the finale, I need to earn it with a black and gray tattoo. The only concern I have going into this tattoo is time, because I am attempting a lot of detail here. Chris, detail and line work, this is what I like to do. Ryan should really be sweating it. This big, crazy, detailed Medusa looks like a 10-hour piece. She's not going to be able to complete that right now. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. The four of you are at the beginning of a grueling 15-hour tattoo marathon. And the artist that wins the best tattoo of the day will secure the first spot in the live finale. Team Peck, you tattooed a Medusa. Ryan, let's start with you. Ryan, how are you feeling at this point in the competition? This is the opportunity where you're supposed to bring the big guns out and show what you have. So I designed a 10-hour tattoo that I shrunk down and attempted in five hours. I decided to keep it simple. This one didn't work out for you. Three hours, Team Peck. Dude, that looks awesome. I dropped the ball yesterday. I'm trying. The Medusa challenge was supposed to be my day, but I let the stress and the pressure affect my work. I think you've got this one. I'm really trying. I grew up with a single mom in a rink-eating trailer park. My mother taught me that if I want something, I need to work for it. I'm here to succeed. Guns blazing today, guns blazing. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up, no more ink. God, that's gorgeous. Killed it. Yeah, man, I like it. Awesome. Nate didn't end up doing black and gray, but his tattoo still does not look like watercolor. 
all I can feel is confidence. I'm not worried about the boys. They can do good out tomorrow. Today, you completed your 10th hour of tattooing. You had to continue in the marathon creating watercolor tattoos. Ryan. The fins are what make this tattoo completely. It's a very loose tattoo, but you really anchor it in with all the black you use and the black shading. It was a wise choice. Thank you. There are two spots left in the live finale. It is time to decide who has the best tattoo of the day and secures their spot alongside Kelly. The battle is definitely between Nate and Ryan. I like Ryan's balance. It's got so much heavy blue towards the tail section and the top, but just this little hint of blue coming off the front and off of the back of the spine, it really balances the piece nicely. And I think Ryan gets it today. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Ryan. Congratulations, Ryan. You have earned your spot in the live finale. Thank you so much. It's a girl fight. I'm gonna go check in with Ryan Ashley now. Hey, Ryan. How's it going? Good. How are you? I'm good. All right, so Ryan, America assigned you fine line black and gray, which yes. is your specialty. Yes. You gotta be happy about that. I am thrilled. I mean, I have a very specific style and didn't have the opportunity to show it while filming. And, you know, today's the day. Now I get to show everything that I can So you didn't really get to do your style, yet you made it to the finale. Yes. That's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Right on, good luck. Thank you. All right. Okay, Ryan, you were assigned fine line black and gray, which is your specialty. Let's check out the judges. Ryan, I'm happy that you got to do something to really show off and let us see what you do. Um, you've done great tattoos all season. This is another one that lines you right up in that category. You've had a great outing. The question is fine line black and gray. There's a lot of bold lines in there and I just feel like you stepped a little bit out of what was asked, but again, an amazing tattoo. Just the word fine line comes to mind. All right, Ryan, thank you. Step back. Congratulations to Ryan and Gian. You guys are the top two artists, but there can only be one Ink Master. Over the last several months, each finalist also had to tattoo a 24-hour chess piece in the style and subject assigned by the opposing team. Ryan, you are up first. Let's see how your master canvas went. Ryan, I would love to see dueling hot rods, big, chunky 90s new school. That is everything I have ever had. Are you ready? I'm ready. This is your new chest piece. Cool, right? Yeah, I'm excited. I have a lot more to prove. Are you ready? New School was the one challenge that everyone else in the finale did that I didn't do. You gotta breathe, okay? It's literally the opposite of my style. Vibrant, bright color, thick, chunky lines. I don't do anything like that. You got this. This really is the tattoo that's going to make it or break it for me. 11 minutes. I've made it this far because I've busted my ass. I deserve to be the first female ink master. All right, it is the moment of truth, Ryan. Please reveal your master canvas. Hi, Ryan, tell us about this. Well, um, Kelly assigned me 90s New School um, because it's the opposite of what I normally do. And uh, I feel like she assigned it to me because uh, she basically wanted me to prove that if I deserve the Ink Master title, I should be able to you know, tackle any style and handle any challenge that was thrown at me. So um, I think you know, this challenge was the opposite of what I've been expected to do. And I, you know, did it as, as true to the challenge as I could. Um, I trained with uh, 
coil machines for a few weeks before I attempted it. Um, I started using steel tubes, um, and I practiced before I even attempted it, and uh, the artwork took me a very long time. Chris, your thoughts? Well, you know, this tattoo, it really, it does exude 90s. It does have that really 90s feel. I also, this is my 25th year tattooing. I grew up on this. So looking at this artwork, the outline quality, the color quality, the color palette and play, it really sets off a strong 90s presence. What for me really hits it is the use of the chrome because we were really chrome babies in the 90s. We would make anything chrome and you captured that look in this 90s feel tattoo. I think you did a great job. All right, Ryan, thank you very much. And now it comes down to this. Ryan, love the tattoo. Gian, knocked it out of the park, man. But in terms of just being an overall dynamic piece that just has that wow factor, I'm going with Ryan. Ryan, you do have what it takes to be Ink Master. Congratulations.